Hey y'all, it's Miss Amy coming to you live from my living room because I am living. I'm just fooling, this is Snapple. I am feeling great tonight, y'all. Fall has fell, I'm here in my Old Navy fleece, and I'm ready to answer your questions that you asked earlier this week in a very special Ask Miss Amy a Lot edition. Let's kick it off, shall we? The first question is from David in New York. And he says, hi, Miss Amy, what's your favorite kind of exercise? David, honey, my favorite exercise is running out of the gym. You know what I mean? I thought Pilates was an Italian restaurant up until like two weeks ago. Coming up next is Allison, and she asks, which sex in the city gal are you? Allison, honey, this is a great question, but unfortunately I don't get HBO and I've never seen an episode of Sex in the City. But I have taken an online quiz, and if I remember correctly, it said I was a Hufflepuff. Ooh, I like this question from Emily. If you and Tyler were a Disney prince and princess, which ones would you be? Uh, Emily, the first one that sprang into mind are Beauty and the Beast. Because one, I love to read. Two, my dad's crazy. And three, I spent all my time cleaning hair out of the bottom of the shower. Oh, this one comes from Van in Los Angeles. Stamos, Saget, Coulier, or Steve? Okay. Right away, I can get rid of Saget because while I do like America's Funniest Home Videos, I don't like a lot of the language he used to describe the Olsen twins later on. I'm gonna have to go with Coulier because if Alanis Morissette writes a song about how devastated she is about breaking up with you, I mean, that means you got the goods. Oh, here's a very thoughtful question from Fran. What's your favorite lesson to teach in school? My favorite subject would have to be history because history's just people and I love people, I love learning about people, I love talking about people, and if you think about it that way, history's just guilt-free gossip. Kara wants to know what my skincare routine is. Girl, I'm a working mom, so my skincare routine is I wake up and if my skin's still on my face, I'm ready to go. Aw, Danny wants to know, how's Dimitri doing, Miss Amy? We haven't heard from him in a while. Well, uh, Dimitri and I do catch up. He's crazy busy uh, this time of year, he says, but we use the chat function on the Words with Friends app to keep each other updated. I did set him up with Dina. Uh, I didn't hear how that went. I haven't heard from Dina since they went on their date, so I don't know that that is a good thing or a bad thing. Melissa wants to know, what's your favorite signature fall dessert? Pumpkin fluff. It's just a can of pumpkin pie filling, a tub of Cool Whip, and a pre-made angel food cake. You whip them up until they become one kind of cohesive blob. You serve it up scoop by scoop. It is a winner. Ooh, here's a fun question from Ronnie. Miss Amy, I would love to get your opinion of your favorite Bath & Body Works scents I should get for the fall. Ronnie? You should know this about me. I can't step within 50 feet of a Bed Bath & Body Works Beyond because I'll spend my whole paycheck. So what I do is I wait until the following spring and then I head over to Marshall's where they've got all of last season's good scents and lotions and soaps. I tend to get things that can last for multiple seasons. So I might get an apple pie and a sugar cookie and you use those two together, they smell like pumpkin pie in the fall. But you can use each one of them individually for Thanksgiving or Christmas. It's a multi-purpose scent and it's just smart homemaking. This question's from Aspen. Miss Amy, can you tell us about your family and what it was like when you were growing up? My family, you know, we were blue collar people from Central Florida. My daddy dug graves for a living. My mom worked in a crematorium. And my little sister Dulcie and I, I mean, we could just spend the whole day in the backyard just digging and playing with stuff we found. Uh, there was this one day we found a, a Ouija board a couple feet below the earth, and we just played with that for, you know, months and months till the first time our house burned down. Zach wants to know how I keep my hair so shiny. Simple two-step system, Zach. Alternating days, pert plus one day, pss, dry shampoo the next, done. And here's a serious question from Max. Miss Amy, I think one of my friends may be getting into drugs and alcohol. I'm worried about them, but also want to give them space to make their own choices. What should I do? Oh, Max, God bless you. Uh, this is so hard, and it's something that touches everyone's life at some point or another. Certainly has touched mine. And something that I found helpful uh, with the middle school classes I substitute teach is I tell them a story from my life. And if you want to use my story to tell your friend, you can do that. So when I was in high school, this may come as a surprise to y'all, but uh, I was a cool kid. I mean, I was friends with everybody, but uh, my best friend Shelby was the head cheerleader. And uh, there was this one weekend where she invited me and a bunch of other kids to this abandoned uh, summer camp that her parents owned. 
and we got out there. I don't know what I was expecting to happen, but as soon as we showed up, people started drinking and getting hopped up on goofballs and fiddling around with each other's parts in the cabins. And, and straight away, I walked to a payphone and I called my dad and I had him pick me up. And I'm so grateful that I did that and that I had the wherewithal to know myself to not be uh, pressured into doing something just because my friends were. I mean, I'm also thankful I left because no one ever saw those kids again, but. Anna wants to know, Miss Amy, what's your favorite dump dinner? Honey, I'm a bit of a dessert for dinner kind of gal. So what I do is I just take my favorite yellow box mix, I pour it over a casserole dish with some frozen peaches in it. Then I just crack open a can of Publix brand ginger ale, pour that on top into the oven at 350 degrees for 25 minutes, you got a full sweet dinner, baby. Oh, it's a romantic question. Noah asks, how did you and Tyler meet? When was the moment you knew you were destined to be together? Well, Noah, Tyler and I are a story of love at first sight. Uh, we were in a Shoney's. Uh, I was there for a friend's birthday. He was there for another friend's birthday. We were in line at the buffet. And I kind of saw him leering at me. And we didn't even have to speak. Uh, and we don't do a lot of speaking now either. But we have a very amicable, amicably passionate uh, relationship. And it's not one with words. It's something physical. He's a great father. And, um, and I just love him so much. Ben asks, what's your favorite pork recipe? Medallions and applesauce, case closed. Lynn asks, Miss Amy, what's up with all the strange objects in your home? Okay, Lynn, I'm guessing you're uh, referring to the wooden skull that I got from that strange lady under the bridge and, and my Frankenstein nutcracker. And I actually don't think I've showed you this one, but this is just a, a, a doll that I accidentally stole from a museum. I feel a kinship with strange broken things. Uh, you know, people say around Christmas time, I'm kind of like the Island of Lost Toys which is so fun around the holidays. But year round, I like to be a beacon uh, uh, for, for people who feel like they don't quite fit in to be drawn to. And that goes for objects as well. Here's a question from Salty in Brooklyn. I've been feeling a little down lately, Miss Amy, but when I watch your videos, I feel lighter somehow. That got me thinking, who helps Miss Amy when she's down? Oh, this is a very sweet question, Salty. And, and I got quite a few questions like this. I got one from Raphael asking me, who do I turn to when I get discouraged? And, and I will say, though I do love my family dearly and, and feel very bolstered by my husband and my friends and my neighbors, uh, at the end of the day, there's only one person I can turn to to bring me out of a slump. And that is the woman in the mirror. And I don't mean the woman I occasionally see out of the corner of my eye who's covered in blood. I mean me, because now I'm gonna get choked up here. Sometimes you're the hero of your own movie. And even though it seems like the whole world's going to hell, you can save it with positivity and a fun attitude. Oh, Teresa needs words of advice about how to make it through the difficult years of mothering teenage daughters. Oh, Teresa, honey, I feel you through and through. You know, it is not always a cupcake supper. Uh, you know, between the phone being off the hook 24-7 and all the sass mouth and finding goat heads in the hamper, I found that if we treat each other like we're both gardeners, and especially since Emblem is so nature-oriented, if I treat her kind of like a, like a wild rose, delicately but with a firm, protective hand, that's been something that we've been able to bond over. Okay, y'all, I got time for one more question, and it comes from Peter who wants to know, what's the one story in your family that no one talks about? You know, this is a tricky question, Peter, because I come from an open family and we're a bunch of talkers, so it's hard to find something we don't talk about. But I guess if I had to think of something, when I was 17, I was a witness for the prosecution in the ghost mask killer case. You know, that's that guy who murdered all those teens by that lake. And I guess my testimony was instrumental in getting him the death sentence. And it's too crazy because I was just reading in the paper today that it has been 35 years to the day uh, since that man was executed by electrocution. Um, but yeah, I don't know if that counts. All right, y'all, that's it for me. I've had so much fun answering your questions. I'm only sorry I couldn't answer all of them. They were coming to me from all sides, from Facebook, from Instagram. I even had someone drop off these two messages in my mailbox this morning. Uh, but 
fret not. I'm going to answer them all on those various social media pages. Although, for whoever put those messages in my mailbox, you're going to have to just come over to my house unannounced and I'll answer them in person. Y'all, I just want to leave you with some words of encouragement. You deserve to be loved. I love you, and that's the truth. I'm Miss Amy. I'm a mom with an iPhone, and I can't wait to see you again next week. Love y'all. Happy fall.